the only thing that you have to do is rise and sparkle as a full-fledged life. Because when you're doing wonderfully well, you will do what is needed. Then he will not ask, how do I wake up in the morning and be motivated? You should not be a motivated person. Generally, somebody, when we say somebody is motivated, it means they have an agenda of their own. Life has no agenda. It's for you to be a full-fledged life. A grasshopper is trying to be a full-fledged grasshopper, earthworm is trying to be a full-fledged earthworm, a bird is trying to be a full-fledged bird, a tree is trying to be a full-fledged tree, a human being should strive to become a full-fledged human being. This is all our businesses. But each one of us start creating our own agendas and doing all kinds of things. No, no, you're just a piece of life, don't take yourself too seriously. Because before you and me, countless number of people have come and gone. Hmm? Yes or no? Where are they? All those people. You think they were all idiots? They were all idiots and they died, is it? No, they were also like you, maybe they were also officers, maybe they were kings more than you, all kinds of things, all topsoil now. This will also become topsoil. Just a little bit of time, life is a bit of a sparkle. Tch. How old is your son, sir? Twenty-five. So, twenty-seven years ago, where was he, sir? So if somebody is not here, we say they are dead, isn't it? Twenty-seven years ago, he was dead. We will give him hundred years, sir. Eighty years later, he will be again dead. Hmm? Yes or no? Yes. So, twenty-seven years ago, how long was he dead, sir? Huh? Long time. So, eighty-five years later or eighty years later, how long will he be dead, sir? Very long time. So, all of us will be dead for a very long time. We're alive just for a brief amount of time. Yes? Very brief amount of time. We will be dead for a very long time. I want you to look at it in this perspective. How long will you be dead? You can't imagine, so let us say ten thousand years we are dead or hundred thousand years we are dead or a million years we are dead, all right? How long are you alive compared to that? Very, very brief. What you call as life is a brief sparkle. The only thing that you have to do is rise and sparkle as a full-fledged life. When something is needed around us, we will do that naturally because when you're doing wonderfully well, you will do what is needed, isn't it? When you're miserable, you will be motivated. Yes? Tell me, when you're very happy, have you looked at yourself? How nice and wonderful you are, you're willing to do anything for anybody, you bend backwards if necessary, yes or no? When you're little frustrated, woo, <laughs> how difficult it is. So, don't teach your children to become motivated about something. These are all nonsense that's coming from the West, all those trashy self-help books. Motivate yourself, build confidence, believe in yourself. You believed in God and destroyed so much of this world. Now you believe in yourself, what will you do? <laughs> all this trash is coming from the West. You don't have to be motivated. You just have to see how this is alive to its fullest possible level right now. If it's fully alive, it will do everything that it can do, isn't it? What it cannot do, anyway it will not do. If you watch a bird in the morning, there are birds here, you know. You, where do you come from, sir? Delhi? Huh? Tamil Nadu, Chennai? Chennai, maybe there are no birds at all except kaka. <laughs> huh? 
So here if you see a bird, sir, little bird, in the morning, it's doing everything that it can do, isn't it? Hello? Everything that it can do, it will spare nothing. That's all you have to do, everything that you can do. What you cannot do, perfectly okay. A worm cannot do what a bird does, a bird cannot do what an elephant does, an elephant cannot do what we do, yes or no? But we must be doing what we can do. What we cannot do, it doesn't matter. What we can do must happen. For this, all that's needed is, you must understand life is a very brief sparkle. It's just poop, poop, poop and gone. Yes or no? Before you know what's happening, you'll be gone. Unless you're miserable. Miserable people have a long life. Only they feel life is long. If you're very joyful, poof, it'll be gone before you know what's happening. Have you noticed a specific day, you're very happy, twenty-four hours, gone like that. Little miserable, twenty-four hours, feel like ten thousand years. Yes or no? So time is a very relative experience, but if you compare to how long you will be dead, you will be dead for millions of years. You're alive just for a few, little bit. This time, don't be motivated by anything. All that you have to do is you must become a full-fledged life. Twenty-four year… twenty-five year old boy, he shouldn't become a motivated human being. He must just be burst of life. Then he will not ask, how do I wake up in the morning and be motivated? What are you motivated about? Nothing, if you're alive, you'll bounce out of your bed, isn't it? But now, the way we eat, the way we breathe, the way we do things, and intoxicants and stuff, everything, generally the body wants to die. It doesn't want to be alive. People, you know, it's all from the West, people created this culture, uh, what is that, uh, thank God it's Friday. The statistics show that seventy percent of the Americans hate their jobs, not dislike, hate. Five days if you do something that you hate, I don't know how you enjoy the weekend. All that happens in the weekend is, you're knocked out. You are either drunk or you're drugged or you're indulging in something, okay? Beyond that, no great shakes, joy is happening, all right? Yes or no? Seventy percent of the people hate their jobs. How do you live like this? Why the hell are you doing something that you hate? First of all, if you don't love doing what you're doing, you shouldn't do it, always somebody will do it. Hello? Someone comes to me, <laughs> he's heading a, a multinational company, global CEO. He comes in a distressed state and says, Guru, I can't take this. They're putting so much pressure on me every day, can't take this. Then I look at him, raise my hands and say, may you be fired. Oh, Sudhguru, Sudhguru, what are you saying? I said, hey man, you're suffering so much. What is the point? At least if you're fired, you can walk on the beach, huh? Maybe somebody else will do this job little more joyfully than you. You think you're spinning the planet or what? Hello? What is the hardship? Are you spinning the planet? Or are you pushing it around the sun? Everything is free, isn't it? <laughs> Hello? Everything is free. All you have to do is be a full-fledged life. Don't constipate yourself with too many ideas, philosophies, belief systems, stupid thoughts and emotions with which you get constipated and become less than who you are. No, you should not ever be less than what you can be, isn't it? You don't have to be as good as somebody else and you can never be because everybody is different. But you should not be less than what you can be. So you don't need motivation for this, you need aliveness. At twenty-five, if you're not very alive, you need some cranking. 
Chennai. <laughs> Chennai usually is alive very early in the morning. It's not like Bangalore. Bangalore wakes up at ten o'clock. <laughs> Chennai is alive at five o'clock in the morning, <laughs> generally. So don't motivate your children, it's not necessary. You have to see how they're joyful and alive. In this, their body and their intelligence will work at its best. Oh, will they just be happy and not do anything? You tell me, are you willing to do more when you're happy? Or are, will you, are you willing to do more when you're unhappy? When you're happy, you're willing to do anything that is needed, isn't it? You're willing to forego your food, your sleep and do what you need to do when you're very happy, isn't it? When you're unhappy, oh, how hard it is to get anything done from you, yes or no? So a wife sent a telegram to her husband, who was in a three-month training. Hi, yes, you know. She sent a telegram, start worrying, rest will follow in a letter. Don't do this to yourself <laughs> At twenty-five you start worrying, rest will follow. If you're feeling tension, anxiety, your own intelligence is turned against you. If you understand all human experience is coming from within, how can you not engineer yourself to perfection? In engineering essentially means to bringing yourself to a state where all the faculties of being human works for you. Inner Engineering Online is now available in 11 languages.